let's do this, man. Let's right. do this. <laughs> hey, we even had the butterfly join in on that one. That was a lit one. It's been a great night. Oh, it's a snowy afternoon here in Buffalo. I'm Alex. And I'm Daniel. And this is Cigarette Break. Oh, we got a couple guests here today. We got Mika, the beautiful cat. And we also have Leo, the other beautiful cat over there. Um, he's more of a handsome cat than a beautiful cat. I'm just put that out there. Um... Yeah. I'm Alex, like I said. And I'm Daniel again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is Cigarette Break. No, yeah, just, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we, what are we going to talk about today, man? You got anything in mind? Anything um, cool? Yeah, I do. Let me let me see here. Um, sorry for the... I thought I was going to have it ready to go, but I guess Oh, not. no, you're good. Okay. We're going to talk about embarrassing moments. We're going to talk about embarrassing moments. All right, bet. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? The most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Probably when I was in kindergarten, first grade. Mm-hmm. First grade. I was on the swing. No, I was in kindergarten. Kindergarten. I was on a swing at, on lunch at recess. And I fell, like, off the swing. I went to go jump off, but instead of, like, jumping off, somehow my pants got caught, and they, like, got caught, but, like, it took off my pants and my underwear all the way down to my ankles, and then, like, I twirled around the frickin' uh, swing, and I looked like a buffoon, and the teacher was like, pull your pants up! (laughs) And I'm like, I, yeah. (laughs) I was crying for sure. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Uh, What about you? Oh, it was right next to a chick, too. I, mean, I remember that. Right next to a chick. Kindergarten, but still right next to a chick. Embarrassing. Uh, I got, like, two stories that I can remember. The first one, I, I used to work at Tilly's. And uh, I was working in the changing rooms. Ooh, that's hot. Yep. <laughs> he was working in the changing <laughs> rooms. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, when you work at Tilly's or, like, anywhere that has a changing room, right? You're supposed to, like, right. knock before you open a door. Yeah. So I saw this girl run out of her room, right? Yeah. I was like, cool. I'll come over there in like two seconds, and then I'll check it. Yeah. Because I was like putting clothes away or something. So I walk over. I'm knocking on the door. Nothing, right? Don't okay. hear shit. I kick my foot under the door, too, just to make sure. I did one more, just to make sure. Nothing. So I start unlocking the door. I get that shit all the way fucking open. The chick's butt-ass naked in there. Whoa. Dude, I was like, oh, fuck. I slammed that door. Yep. I was like, oh, shit. I just walked yep. to the other side, dude. And I was like, fuck. Did you get fired? No, dude. I went and told my manager. I was like, hey, just let you know. Uh, I accidentally opened the door on some chick. And she just started laughing at me. So, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad. She didn't but, care. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, damn. That's crazy. That is. What's the other one? Uh, I was in high school. It's my sophomore year. My last baseball game. Okay, uh, you played for the Wildcats? Yeah, I did play for the Wildcats. Dude, yeah. goddamn. What team? <laughs> what, Wildcats. What, time is it? what team? Oh, that's funny. Wildcats. Get your head in the game. <laughs> Fucking Zach Efron in this oh, bitch. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, was your last season? Last, uh, my last game ever. Last game ever. ever. Okay. Uh, so, I, when I was in Little League, I used to be a pitcher, right? Yeah. So when I got to high school, I used to beg the coaches all the time to let me pitch, dude, because I used to love pitching, right? I ain't a catcher. <laughs> Anyways, uh... For all the wonders <laughs> out there. <laughs> I'm the catcher. He's the pitcher. <laughs> Continue. All right, so, uh... I just pitch like shit, dude. I'm, like, fucking, like, throwing slow as shit. Fucking, like, everybody's hitting everything. I'm not striking anybody out. And then uh, I try to get the dude off second base. So I try, try to, to get him off on second base. Yeah, I try to. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's doing good. So I try to do his little like quick turn around, and throw to second base, right to get him out. Yeah. And I did like a little ballerina twirl instead, and lost okay. balance, and I chucked the fucking ball to the fucking outfield. Okay, hell yeah, that's pretty lit. That's yeah, pretty lit. And uh, yeah, I finally got taken off the off the mound. Got benched, and then, yeah. This I man never, got benched. Never, never played again. How do you get benched in high school ball? <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying, dude. I just messed with you. I just yeah, messed dude, with you. I was embarrassed. I was like, fuck. I, 
can't believe I played that. Bad. Yeah, that's but, okay. That's yeah. okay, man. I don't really care that much now, obviously. But like, yeah, it's just cr- crazy. Cats shit happens. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? Mika, obviously. Yeah, she got the high ground. <laughs> yeah, it's over, Anakin. <laughs> I have the high ground. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, <laughs> the cats are getting yeah, into going. it. Let me set break. <laughs> yeah, like, we're gonna take a break. I'll never forget that you told me a story. You almost got in a fight with an old dude at King Supers. Yeah, I, it um, happens, man. Put him on his ass, dude. I do sometimes. Let's see. Patient. My girl's cousins. Shout out to them. They love Taco Bell. I don't know why though, bro. Taco Bell is not the move. No, not the move ever. Ever. Steak quesadilla is all right. Everything else. Trash. I can lie. I throw down some Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst thing you can go eat? I don't like cheese, so Taco Bell. <laughs> you can't order no cheese. I don't like cheese. But you can't order no cheese. I mean, how the fuck would you order a fucking beefy five layer burrito with no cheese? That's like three of the layers. <laughs> right. But why would you go to the five layer burrito with cheese in it? I guess, but like, motherfucker, what Mexican food doesn't have cheese in it? Quesadilla. It's in the name. Enchilada got cheese, burrito, taco, all that shit. Mm, that's a good now, point. Now, if I, you know what I have found? Shout out to Lost Delicious North. That's a good one. Lost Delicious North, not South North. Um, they got some amazing uh, tacos with like steak and potatoes and peppers. No cheese. You don't even you don't even have to order with no cheese. Tastes amazing. Tacos Rancheros. That's what it's called. Mm. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some this week. Yeah, it's taking me with you. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's make a date. Yeah. So, we're going to segue into another thing real quick. Um, what do you feel like your cat's favorite food would be if, if, if she could pick? Chicken. Chicken? Okay. Because we're going to open up a food truck on Sundays, guys. It's going to be called Sundays. And we're going to be right across the street from Chick-fil-A. And we're going to sell Mika's favorite chicken. Okay? Can't get better than that. Come see us. We're going to be working it. No, I'm just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we we do have a lot of funny ideas. Um, Daniel, <laughs> give us one of your funny ideas. Well, I don't know if this is funny, but I want to try the one chip challenge. Dude, we should do it then. Yeah, I'm going to get the chips maybe next pod. Next pod. Hell yeah, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Oh, I'm just looking around again. The, the atmosphere has gotten way brighter in here over the past couple pods. It's gotten, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I still, the Chinese divider throws me off a little bit. Besides that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's, dude, it sucks. We have that thing there to keep the cats out of the kitchen, but they still find a way to open that bitch. Really? Yeah, they pull that shit open. Come here. Come here. Come up here. Welcome to today's guest. Mika. Invite her up. Come on. Oh, never mind. She doesn't want to be on today. She hears something else. I'm like, this is our sweet guest. This is Mika. Does she have a last name? Mendez. Mendez. Mika Mendez. How you doing, sweetie? Well, that was Mika, everyone, because she is a uh, beautiful, whatever kind of cat you'd call this. Um, how old is she? Five. She's five years old. That's old in dog years. Cat years the same as dog years? Mm, I think so. How did they yeah. figure that out? Go- Google how did they figure out dog years. All right. And that's what we're going to figure out tonight in the pod. As a general guideline through the American Veterinary Medical Association... I'm going to start that over. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. <clears throat> that means he's afraid of cabbage. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> As a general guideline, though, the American Veterinary Medical Association breaks it down like this. 15 human years equals the first year of a medium-sized dog's life. Year two for a dog equals about nine years for a human. And after that, each human year would be approximately five years for a dog. That didn't answer our question. That is crazy. But how, yeah, how do you think they figure that out? 
That's crazy. Mika is just the sweetest little kitty. I think I'm gonna be a DJ, and she's gonna be my like my mascot. She's gonna be there, turning the decks with me. You know, mm. I'm DJ Hot Cat, <laughs> <laughs> and I got Mika right there next to me in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy says here that there's not any science behind it. It's just uh, an average life expectancy for a dog. So they kind of calculated that way. Okay. Yeah. You ever tried the laser with your cat? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> but apparently it gives them anxiety. No way. Yeah, because they can't get it. Dude, that's funny. So you don't, out of humanity? Yes. <laughs> you just don't? I feel yep. you. You gotta be a humane cat dad. <laughs> I, feel, I feel that. Cat dad. <laughs> Born with the lamb, little cat dad. <laughs> cat dad. Er. Ooh, <laughs> damn. He got bit. That was funny. Um, what, what kind of burger did you get tonight? I got a... Basically, like a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger mm-hmm. from Smash Burger, right? Smash Burger. Is yep. that your favorite burger place? No, I love Five Guys. Five Guys. Yeah. Okay. What is it about Five Guys? What separates them from the rest? I, don't know. I just like the flavor of the way their burgers are made and stuff. A little bit better. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you could only go to one restaurant for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, I love Qdoba and Chipotle. It's one of those hey, you're two. Such a fucking basic white chick. Yep. You like Qdoba and Chipotle? You sound like my girlfriend. Yeah, dude, I'm busy. (laughs) Those are the same thing, though, bro. Exactly. (laughs) But but they're different, dude. I ain't gonna lie. They're different. They got different flavors. Yeah, no facts. She says the same shit. I don't really fuck with that too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll go with her. We'll get like a bowl. I'll get a bowl. Yeah. I'll get some tacos. I get the quesadilla sometimes. But I don't really. I'm not a big Mexican food guy. How are you gonna get a quesadilla if you don't like cheese? I put myself through the pain. Mm. Sometimes you gotta suffer to get the big uh, the big bucks. I see. I see. Uh, so, with the snow coming down, I know you are a uh, delivery driver. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like are some of the? What do you feel like some of the challenges are in the snow that people don't realize when you're out there trying to deliver people's packages to them? Well, a lot of people don't like to shovel their snow. And, uh, Isn't that their duty as a homeowner, though? Yeah, especially in Denver, you're supposed to. But we walk in on the sidewalks and be slipping in ice because uh, it's all frozen. Is there a way to report people that like don't do that or no? Uh, I think there is. Like, I think I saw on the news like recently that um, you can report people who don't shovel their snow in Denver, and they can uh, get a big fee. Oh yeah. Well, you should be doing your neighborly duty of cleaning off your damn sidewalk. Or you should have been smart enough to buy a house with a self-facing driveway. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what are some other things you feel like? I feel like when I used to do the delivery, not only that, but like a lot of people, even like during like the summertime, that they just have an inaccessible like entryway. Or like mm. they live in like a rural area where like there's like a little trailer and then there's like another little trailer and you got to like walk all the way to the other little trailer or something and then it's like really like why can't you just have a big old sign that says please place package here yeah make it so much like i've been to places where especially in like the the nice like cookie cutter neighborhoods a lot of people have like a little fucking instruction book of what they want you to do with their package right on their front door because they order that much crap put it in this box here's the code Da, da 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 You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Make sure you smile for the camera that's watching you. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know. Some like, people like to make it complicated too. Like, fucking yeah. Go like across, to make every job. Go to the backyard. Like, what, I'm not going to your backyard. Think about this, right? Think about how complicated packages are, right? That's like a simple thing, mm-hmm. right? Now think about something complex like food. Mm-hmm. Okay, when you when you do food, you've worked food, like. Mm-hmm. What's the dumbest question you ever got working in Chick Fil A? Um, where's the cheeseburgers? <laughs> <laughs> Can you I get see what I mean, man? Yeah, it's facts. No, I, that's that's straight up facts. I've worked places like, you know what I mean? Like I was telling him before the pod, like I do two things: I can make food, and I can work at a dispensary. That's about it. You know what I mean? Like those are my marketable skills. Um, you you gotta stick to what you're good at. You know? I don't know why some of these people are fucking 
going to Wendy's expecting a Subway sandwich. Like, you got to – it's Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I got people – I would have people that come into, like, uh, my, my, my restaurants or, like, my stores or whatever and be like, uh, oh, well, I need – uh, like for example, if you had a burger place, let me get a pasta. Do you, can you guys make a pasta here? No, no, I cannot, sir. Why not? Well, I, I, I see that you have <laughs> tomatoes and lettuce and uh, shoestring, whatever. Can't you make something out of that? No, <laughs> no. no, no, I cannot. <laughs> I can make you a burger. <laughs> you ever had a deal with uh, Karen? I can't, bro. So when I go skiing, I wear a helmet. Maybe you'll see me out there one day. Uh, I have a helmet on, white helmet, big sticker right here. Don't be a Karen. Um, <laughs> I've run into a lot of Karens. I know I, I know some Karens personally, um, and I have ran into Karens. I do not like Karens. They all know this. I would say most recently, I haven't really messed with a bunch. Um, at work, I would say like. A lot of customers feel entitled. You know, they come in and they're like, Oh, I didn't have the best experience last time. Well, fucking some kid in Syria woke up and fucking and his whole family was gone one day. You think he fucking wished for that? No. <laughs> so I, like, come on, man. <laughs> These are real facts. <laughs> and you're worried about a fucking cranberry in your salad, bitch? <laughs> Oh, I used to act, okay, fun fact. I used to work at BJ's making salads. Okay. <laughs> you mean people would fucking complain about their salads? I don't want the feta or the this. I mean, I don't even like feta, but like, goddamn, some, sometimes these people, like, they really be like, okay. So, for example, let's say I had a, a Santa Fe salad, right? And let's say it was like fucking chicken, some spices, some ranch, and lettuce with like some fucking croutons on it right well they would want it without the chicken without the sauce without the fucking croutons and without the lettuce sometimes <laughs> so you're left with just like a pile of fucking tomatoes maybe <laughs> seasoning and tomatoes restaurants get complicated fast i mean you yeah. got i had one time it's on oh, dude when people are uh ordering like online food they're so bold you know medium rare chicken wings what the fuck is that what's a medium rare chicken wing <laughs> you know yeah dude i can't people i can't people are bold as fuck bro on the internet they're bold yeah they're bold Just get what you get dude don't throw yeah. fit this is why if i had a restaurant i would make it like known you cannot change it like, that's and that's why also i would do things you can't change like wings yeah i mean or you know you got allergies you're fucked i mean yeah, well, maybe Why I'll do there anyway. Maybe I'll do my wings in a coconut sauce instead of a peanut oil, or yeah, you know what I'm saying. But do you remember kindergarten? Yeah, Miss Philmanders was my teacher. I don't remember any of my. She was things. pregnant, and some little kid in my class, Jose, threw a chair at her one day and got in trouble. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Philmanders. Shout out to Jose. <laughs> I don't know how you remember that your name, dude. I don't remember any of my teachers' names, even from high school. I remember Miss Philmanders, my kindergarten teacher. I remember Ms. Mason was my fourth grade teacher, but that's because she was my mom's teacher when she was in, like, grade school. Mm, that's crazy how that stuff works out. Uh, I remember Miss hmm, Fowler was my first teacher here in Colorado in fifth grade. Mm. And then my cousin ended up having her... Uh, like ten years later, which is pretty weird. Um, and I know, I know, like high school teachers, like Mr. Rogers, all that kind of. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, know who that is. Went to the same high school, Mr. Wall. <laughs> I still know who that is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, only teacher I remember. Yeah, I remember Glenn. Uh, Glenn. <laughs> Glenn. I don't even know remember his last. Mr. Gross. Glenn oh, I Gross. Know him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so whoever the astronomy teacher was, that guy was litty. We didn't even learn astronomy. He just. Fucking let us watch movies in class all day. That's what a lot of high school was, dude, was watching movies in class. I didn't learn anything in high school besides movies in class. Yeah, I didn't learn shit either, dude. I, I know who Mr. Like, Tancredi. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Tancredi. I didn't have him, but I remember that name. He, uh, he put out, he let us watch Talladega Nights in Business class. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Learning about marketing. Yeah, that's smart, though. 
That's smart. How are you going to get a bunch of kids, you know what I mean, to learn about marketing? You show them Talladega Nights. I remember one teacher, and that was from middle school. His name was Mr. Doherty. And uh, he was a bitch. I fucking hate him. <laughs> Damn, bro. He's calling you. What's his name? Mr. Doherty. <laughs> Mr. Doherty, if you're out there. Yeah, you Daniel's fucker. calling you a bitch. Yeah, you know what you Say, did. He's saying you ain't shit. You got to meet him down here right now fucking for the big bitch, fight. dude. <sighs> oh, that's funny. So, I know you've made that uh, beautiful... Wood, what would you call that? Mm. Not a painting, obviously. A wood burning? Yeah, I mean, it's painted also. So, just a wood... I'll just call it art. Okay, so you made that beautiful art. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any other art projects that you want to push out? Like, I know you said the toy, um, but do you have any other like things like that you want to achieve? Yeah, I, I do want to do a lot more of, like, those. Um, I do want to do, like, a lot more, like, actual, like, art, you know? And, how much uh, is it like something like that? How much time does that take oh, usually? Dude, that took like twenty four no about twenty hours. Damn. Now twenty hours all at once or just like spread out. Yeah. What'd you start with? Uh the wood burning. The wood burning? Mm-hmm. You started with that. How long did that just the wood burning take you? Yeah, I think that's the part that took the longest. Uh yeah, probably about fifteen hours. Wow. What yeah, gave you the like, idea? For the whole thing, what is it? Is it supposed to encapsulate, encapsulate something? Yeah, so it's a mural of Leo. Um, yep, your cat. It's uh, it was a gift to my girlfriend because she it's her cat. She loves him, you know. And uh, he's in a cloud, and the sun, or not the sun, the sunflower is behind him, and it's the whole thing supposed to represent like he's like a light in her life. That's cute. Mm-hmm. I like, I love the sunflower. The seeds in the middle look crazy. Mm-hmm. Or like the what is that called? Is that the seed? Or is it the pit? Well, I don't know what it's yeah, called. Yeah, something like that. That looks dope. Is that a ghost above his head? Yeah. I like I wanted to try a little something different, especially because it's my first time painting, so that, um I wanted to put like some characters in it too. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, I see the little cat unknown mm-hmm. guy and that that one's cool. That's like a cool little that goes on a hoodie. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. That'd be sick. Like B Lotus. B Lotus. B Lotus. Oh, it's Lotus B. Lotus B. Lotus shout, B. Shout out Lotus B. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Meek is in the box now. It's, it's yeah. a shared box. They have a timeshare. <laughs> it's like an Orlando condo. <laughs> uh, so what have you been funny. up to, dude? Anything? Nothing. Nothing, man. I've been trying to focus on paying off bills. Um, artistically, haven't been doing shit. Um... I'd like to make more content videos. I'd like to make like prank videos. I'd like to do a lot of things. I like to do more cooking. Mm. I think I really have found a new passion again for cooking, to be honest. I want to figure out how to like incorporate that with something. Not even just with the episode we did, yeah. but just like cooking for Alina and I for the past like couple months. Mm. I've really been pushing my boundaries and my levels of cooking. That's cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, maybe I could find something artsy with cooking. Culinary arts. Culinary arts. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, but you know what sucks about cooking? Out, like if you want to work in a restaurant, the hours are lame. Like I'm not trying to work all night every weekend. Yeah, <laughs> that's lame as fuck, yeah. man. Like, I'm not doing that shit. Maybe you can become like a cook for like a celebrity or something. I want to be a personal cook, or I want to be a private event caterer. Mm. That'd be cool. It's easy. If you gotta cook, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that part down first, I guess, and then <laughs> everything else is easy. <laughs> something like so, some things are like that, though. You know, like um, if you're a fucking math genius, like you know, maybe being a fucking accountant is easy for you. You know, like you, you're good with the cameras and the lights, camera action. The media stuff is what works for you, you know? Yeah. Sometimes, like, you have that knack for stuff. Like, I feel like Mm -hmm. I have a knack for certain things, and I kind of – I try to stick to that. Yeah. I feel like I don't try to – like, obviously, I try to push my boundaries. Sure. But at the same time, I don't try to fool myself and tell myself, like, you know, like, I feel like I've been caught in the past of telling myself I can do anything and everything, Mm -hmm. which I can, but I'm not going to be great at everything and anything. Sure. And that's something that I recently, like, start to realize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's, like, so hard because, like, 
especially when you become interested in other things like you just oh, yeah. want to do it and, and that's then, me like, yeah i get i get caught up in things really easily like i i obsess over certain things but there's always lingering things in the back of my head you know like i always I still want to own a business i have owned a business but i want to own like a like a bigger bigger style business yeah, of course um I want to help people. That's something that I really want to do is like, I want when I ever, I obtain like some sort of like decent chunk of change. I want to be able to give back to like, not, not even like family, but just like people, you know, mm-hmm. anyone, even random people, you know, like maybe I'll just fucking be, I'll be like Mr. Beast, you know, yeah, going out there, just giving out random money, but I don't even like, not on some camera shit, just like some off the scenes, yeah, it, yeah. like behind the scenes, like, you know, I'm gonna go pay for some little kid's cancer op- operation. Mm-hmm. You know, because that like sick. that'd be like that's just like it would make me feel good. You know? Yeah, of course. Pay for the cats to get saved. You know, something cool. Just because I know I'm a dick a lot of the times, and I feel like if I do something cool like that, it'll like put some like I guess backing behind my name as far as like, oh, okay, he's not too much of an asshole. Sure, <laughs> he did pay for that kid's <laughs> cancer. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I got you. Dude. Like, I guess, I guess, I guess he can't really like be that bad of a guy. He's not that bad. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Yeah, dude. Facts. You know, like, yeah. how are you gonna talk shit to the guy that paid for your kid's cancer? That's true. You can't, man. Yeah, you can't. I mean, you not. You can't. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> I did. With the doctors, couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I had an affluent amount of money. You, we could just we gotta figure out a funny idea to sell for cats, like a cat accessory. <laughs> I just love cat cats so much. I know, dude. It's like all you talk about these days. Yeah. Like, cats. I just love, I need to get a cat, guys. That's my issue. You ever been to a cat bat cafe? No, we should go. <laughs> I want to go to. Do they have cats? Yeah, you, they, of course they got cats. That's dude. the best. You can even adopt them if you want. No, I couldn't do that. Only because I don't know how Nala would act with a cat. Mm. Pause. Oh, that you. Nah, mine's like right here. We would have heard it. It's probably the crackhead up the street. He, dude, he still goes in his car and does crack. All right, all right. So let's talk. I've I've actually seen this man smoking his stem of whatever the fuck he's smoking, <laughs> meth, crack, whatever. So I believe this. So yeah. what is he doing? He goes to his car. He's parked in this exact same place. He has some tape to try to cover himself, but he has a little spot so he can see for some reason. Aren't his tags expired or no? Yeah. And they just came through and towed a bunch of cars, all the stolen cars that are right here. They came through, towed them all, but his car was still there for some reason. There was a bunch of stolen cars? Yeah, people bring their stolen shit out here all the time. Why? Good area? Hidden spot. It stays here for a while. I don't know. Huh. Wow. That's awful. Yeah. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) The ghetto. This isn't even ghetto. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Fucking... The Mall of America is right down the street. <laughs> this is fucking Minnesota, eh? <laughs> and, <laughs> is that a Minnesota accent? Minnesota, yeah. Don Tootin. Don Tootin. It's a little bit of Norwegian mixed with a little bit of Shrek. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Mika. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I feel like with who's cat? Oh, what is it? why doesn't she like that? I don't know. Sometimes I get annoyed. Does she just like this? Yeah. Is that her making that meow? Or is that the other one? Love cats, man. Um, oh, I was going to say, we got to build like a cat obstacle course. That's what we're going to do next time on the pod. Okay. We're going to build a cat obstacle course and see if Mika can solve it. Or Leo. Get some tubes and shit. Get some okay. cat food. Okay. You think that would work? They'd probably stop for the food and just sit there and eat it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, though. But, like, what if, like, we set up something, like, where they had to work through it to get the food? Like, tie a treat to a string, dangle it through it, and then pull it. Like, fish yeah. the cat through it, you know? Okay. Yeah. Do you have any other ideas for pod episodes? Yeah, man, for sure. We got to do a prank episode. We had a prank episode coming up for sure. We got to figure that out. Once it's less crappy out. Uh, we live in Anchorage, Alaska, so it's a little messy out right now. But uh, uh, we uh, we'll get that fixed, to get that assessed, get some plows out here. You know, mm-hmm. um, definitely pranks, 
definitely some maybe like a dessert episode instead of a cooking one. We'll okay. do like a dessert. We'll make like a chocolate ganache or something. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how to bake. So it'll be my first time. I know how to get baked. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, that's about it. Um, what about you? You have any ideas? Yeah, I have a few people we can interview, and uh, you have a few people we can interview. Who's yeah. going? Who's next? Who's next on deck? Randy's supposed to be next. Randy? Yeah. Fucking Randy, get your ass down yeah, here. Where, where is at? he at? Where is he? All the way in by Ken Carl. Damn, he lives in Littleton. Yep. All right. But yeah, Shout I want to do Randy the, in Littleton. I want to do the one chip challenge. Let's do that next yeah. time too. All right, get I'll chip. buy them. I'll get them. Get the chip. Yep. And I will do that. And I'll eat the whole fucking thing. Yeah, I'll do it too. <laughs> don't we, are we getting milk or anything? Ice cream? Yeah, we, we can get ice cream. Okay. And milk. Yeah, right, sure. I'm not. I'm not that much of a man. Right. <laughs> I want milk and ice cream. I, was for say, sure. dude, I don't do good with spicy foods. No, so. me neither. Me neither. That's what's gonna be funny is I hate yeah. spicy food. So like, I think it'll be really funny because <laughs> right, I'm like gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> I might throw up. Honestly, I don't even know. I can barely handle a fucking what habanero. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even think I could hood handle a habanero. Uh. I can barely handle hot Cheetos. Yeah, dude. Ugh, I hate hot Cheetos. Really? Yeah. I love hot Cheetos. You know what I'm interested to do? And this might sound weird. A hot Cheeto crusted pan seared salmon like filet. I got my mouth watering, my guy. <laughs> yeah. That sounds fire. Yeah. But yeah, I, I could do that. Dang. That sounds dank. I know how you do it too. It'd be so oh, oh be so dude, good. That sounds right. fun. We're gonna come up with some crazy ideas here. Dude, on the I'm pod. hype. I'm hype. Yeah, we gotta come up with a drinking episode. Yeah, drinking, smoking. We're gonna be drinking, smoking, uh, chilling. Uh, no, we gotta be drinking for sure. What are we drinking? What do you like to drink? Uh, I know you don't like to drink, but like. But when you do drink, what do you like? I like those hickeys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stay thirsty, my friends. No. Um, I like whiskey and okay. gin. No, 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 not gin. What's the one in the the cup? What comes in the cup? <laughs> a mule. The mule. <laughs> What's the mule. in the mule? The mule. What's in a mule? It's like ginger and ginger beer and like liquor. Like it's usually like bourbon, I think, or Rum, whiskey. Maybe? I don't fucking know. Uh, we'll figure it out. We, I mean, I we'll know. figure it out. I can make a mojito. I bet. I like mojitos. Yeah. How drunk are we getting? Oh, dude, we're going to get lit skis. I bet. <laughs> we need some help because I probably won't be able to get all the cameras recording and shit. Yeah, no, yeah, I We'll got get you. some help. It'll be funny. It'll be funny. Um, we'll plan that one out for sure. You ever seen Hot Ones? Hot Ones? Dude, what is this fucking <laughs> insulting me this whole fucking podcast? God, dude, damn. I'm so tired of that pillow, bro. It's been fucking hitting my head this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so, before we go, I just wanted to announce the WWE has been bought out by a Saudi Arabian company. How do you feel about that? And that's a cigarette break. <laughs> <laughs>